Hi, for our first table read, I decided to get the pilot episode of Friends. Why would you ask me that? Because Friends is very important to me. When I was young, I knew I was gay. And Friends was the first, 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 first TV show ever that I heard the word, the word, no world, the word lesbian. And it was a big deal for me. Because I'm from South Brazil, my family is very Catholic, so it was a big no-no. And it was like very hard. I didn't know anybody was a lesbian. I didn't know anybody was gay. So it was like that, like, you don't talk about it. So I couldn't even tell myself that it was okay for me to feel the way that I was feeling. It was okay to, like, you know, be gay. So I hid that for a really, really long time, which was awful. So I'm glad nowadays things are not 100%, but it's getting better. But when this episode came out and I watched and they were talking like so openly like about her being gay, it was the first time that I talked to myself and I said like, it's okay for her to be gay. So it was like very exciting for me. And another thing is when I was learning English, I really wanted to like learn English and be able to speak and hear a TV show and understand or hear a song and understand. That's what I'm doing with French now, right now. Je ne parle pas français très bien, mais un jour je parlerai oui très bien. So in English, in, um, I was trying to learn. So what I did, I would get Friends and Seinfeld episodes and I would cover with a paper the subtitles in Portuguese. I would cover so I could only hear that. And because I knew the show so much, I would hear it over and over and over again. So Friends and Seinfeld really helped me to speak English. So for all those things, I wanted to thank all the directors, producers, um, actors, screen players, like every single person who worked to make this masterpiece. Like, thank you so much. You guys are amazing. Like, thank you. You helped me and I know you're helping so many people with still. So for that, thank you. All right, let's go. All right. In the midst of this, Ross, Monica's older brother enters. He's totally despondent. He moves to the others and seat. Ross, a voice from the abyss. Hi. Joey. This guy says hello, I wanna kill myself. Monica, you're okay? Ross, I feel like someone reached down my throat, grabbed my small, my small intestine, pulled it out of my mouth and tied it around my neck. Chandler offering, cookie? Monica, explaining to the others, Carol moved her stuff out today. Phoebe goes to Ross and waves her hand widely, very close to his head. Ross, ducky, what are you doing? Phoebe, I'm cleansing your aura. Ross, well, don't. Just, just, just leave my aura alone. I'll be fine, really. Look, I hope she'll be happy. Monica, no you don't. Ross, no I don't. Okay, I hope she'll be happy, but not until I'm happy, which may take forever. But the hell with her, she left me. Joey, after a pause, and you never knew she was a lesbian? Okay, cut. I knew I was a lesbian since I was eight. My wife only came out of the closet when she was 30, 10 years ago with me. So it's okay if you don't know. It's okay if you're 50, it's okay if you're five, it doesn't matter. Eventually you're gonna find out and you're gonna be like, oh, okay, and it's fine. Don't worry, it's fine, be who you are. Way back, Ross, snapping. No, why does everyone keep fixating on that? She didn't know. How should I know? It's not like there's a mark on her head. Chandler. <sighs> Sometimes I wish I were a lesbian. Off their looks. Did I say that out loud? Ross to Monica. I told mom and dad last night. Monica. Yeah, I know. Then they call. And yell at me for an hour and a half. They couldn't quite explain how I'm responsible for your ex-wife's sexual preference. But that didn't stop them. Joey to Ross, all right, look, you're feeling a lot of pain right now. You're angry, you're hurt, blah, 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 blah. You know what the answer is? You need another woman. Monica, oh, please, that's your answer to do one more coffee? Joey, hey, you gotta get back on the horse. Monica, and speaking for all women, Thank you for the livestock analogy. Ross, I don't want another woman. I don't want to be single. I don't want to put together all that IKEA furniture myself. 
I just, I just want to be married again. And at that moment, a woman in a bridal gown enters. Seeing this, Chandler takes a shot. Chandler, and I just want a lot of money. He looks at the door expectantly, nothing. Chandler continues, see, now why does it work for me? This is great. And again, thank you to everybody who worked on that show. This was fantastic and putting them even more was great. I hope you had fun and see you in the next one.